They had found them. George's pride of lions were only seven miles from camp. Brian and the crew watched as George fed them. These were not tame animals, but wild African carnivores that fed off the land. Yet George seemed unconcerned. These were his lions, and probably the last with whom he would share this special relationship. My son Christopher and Arthur Gibson, the cameramen on the crew, had discussed many times how we would film the lions up close. We originally had designed a specially constructed cage from which to film the big cats, reducing the danger to the film crew. But Christopher had another idea. He wanted to film them from George's perspective, but that meant walking up to them with a camera and George at his side. Christopher described the feeling of walking up to a pride of lions in the wild this way. I had the feeling that my own fear was the only danger. I drew a sense of calm from George as the big cats came towards me. They seem much larger at eye level and equally uncomfortable at my presence. George had told me lions know. They can feel if you're afraid. I joined Christopher and George after a while to experience for myself the awesome majesty of the creatures. I was deeply moved as I stood amid the lions, an experience hard to describe with words alone. <laughs> 